Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today I'm coming at you with a review of the Retrospective 5 by Think Tank Photo. First off, I'd like to thank Think Tank Photo for sending me this bag out. They've uh, sent me up the Wired 10. I did a review on that a while back. So these guys are great. They're sending me bags to review on so you guys can figure out, if, you know, maybe you guys think about getting a new camera bag. Well, hopefully this will help you out. Um, so the Retrospective 5 is the smallest bag that they have. They go all the way up to the Retrospective 30. Um, and uh, I really like this bag so far. First thing that I really like, honestly, and it's sad to say, is I love the design and I love the look. Um, it doesn't look necessarily like a camera bag, so wherever I go, it just, it's gonna have a nice, it just has a nice sleek look to it. Um, I know I probably shouldn't judge a bag on that to me though, but if I'm gonna buy a camera bag, I want a bag that actually is gonna look nice, especially if I'm gonna be out in public and stuff like that. I don't want something bulky looking, you know, sitting on my side. So that's, what, that's probably the first thing I see about this bag that I really like. Um, as well, this bag is more of a day, day bag. Um, it fits a couple, couple lenses, a body, maybe a few extra batteries, a few SD cards, maybe other trinkets, you know, some lens cleaning stuff. But this, this bag does not fit a lot of stuff in it. But as you can notice, it's, it's, fair, it's a fairly small bag. Um, you have your main compartment, which is going to be up here. Then you have like your raincoat, and you can fit some other stuff in another compartment here. Um, the other cool thing is you can actually set it up to Velcro in right here, or you can hide it. So say you're shooting somewhere where you need to be quiet, you're able to open it up. And then you have a another compartment back here. Um, the solder strap is very comfortable and then you can hang some stuff off off these right here. Um, this feels very well made. It feels like it's not going to fall apart. Um, again, I really like the solder strap. It has a little cushion in it. Very comfortable. We're going to be doing an in-depth review up in my studio. I'm going to set up the lights and I'm going to really show you what it looks like as, as well. I'll add some pictures at the end of this video so you guys can actually see some, uh, some pictures I took of it. I know a lot of people don't like uh, my in-depth reviews, but when I'm looking for a new product, when I'm going to spend over $100 on something, I want to find the most detailed review to make sure I know everything about it before I buy it, and that's what I'm trying to do with these uh, reviews. As well, uh, we actually took this thing out a couple days ago. We are up in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, we are out shooting. This is, this is actually my everyday use bag. I now use this every day. Wherever I go, this bag is with me because it fits a body and two lenses and a few other things that I need, so, and it's small and compact. So when I go to work, I always, like, I work at the mall at a kiosk. Um, when I go to work, this is what I have with me. It's kind of funny. Um, so that if I ever need to take a picture, I do. Um, I, I take my camera everywhere I go, just about. It's almost, it's very rare for me to go somewhere and not have my camera with me. So uh, something I really liked about it that uh, we ended up doing is it started raining in the middle of our shooting. Now, my cousin had a body, I had a body, um, and like three lenses with me. So I crammed the body and the three lenses in here um, and, uh, and gave him the rain jacket to put his camera in. So he covered up his camera with the rain jacket. Well, the rain jacket is actually made to go on the bag. And uh, what I ended up doing is, is just putting my bodies and everything in here, and it did a pretty good job of keeping it uh, everything very, very dry. But again, if it was pouring down rain and we were outside for more than a couple minutes, the, uh, the, the water would have gotten into the camera. But it, was, it wasn't raining too, diff too heavily, so I was able to do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head up to my studio and uh, I'm going to actually do a step-by-step, kind of just really showing you the detailed things about this bag. Um, for those people that don't like that, because I know I had a couple people comment that they spent, I spent too much time talking about it. Uh, honest review on this thing is it's a great bag. It's worth the money. And uh, I would probably give it, if I was basing it a scale 1 to 10 of uh, something that I, I would buy, I'd probably give it an 8. So it's not perfect but it is right there. Um, and the biggest thing to me is that it has a very nice sleek design. It's small, it's very, very, very portable. So anyways, let's, uh, let's head upstairs and uh, check out the bag in detail. All right guys, so this is the Retrospective 5 bag. We are back up in the studio now. Uh, so one of the things I really like first off about this bag is that you can make your bag quiet. So you don't get that Velcro sound. If you notice, just re-Velcro it here. And so this allows you to open your bag like like so, and you don't have that Velcro sound. If it still catches a little bit like it just did right there, make sure you've evened up. And there you go, including this part right here. You can put this in here, so therefore you can get to whatever you need and you're not making a sound, which is fantastic in my opinion. I just absolutely love that. So let's put this back down here. Uh, you also have a nice little place to put some business cards. So, you know, if you're doing a job, you need to slip it out. You probably fit maybe, I don't know, 10 business cards in there, maybe 15. 
um, and then you just can pull them out and give them away. Um, so let's start inside the bag here. So you have this pouch here. This is what I would use to maybe put receipts and a pen or something like that. You don't have a lot of room, maybe a battery or two, SD cards, and uh, it has a zipper, which is really nice. So you can, you can zip it closed. Uh, they do give you some extra spacers. You get three, three extra little tiny spacers like this. If you don't like the spacers they give you inside the bag, you can go in and kind of make your own, your own space in there. So, but yeah, you can fit a body and then a lens on each side of the body. Um, now, as far as lens goes, anything probably bigger than a 70 to 200 is not going to fit in this. Um, this bag is made for maybe 18 to 55s, 50 millimeter, 85. Uh, millimeter, one, uh, 28 to 135, uh, 10 to 22, you know, so your smaller lenses, any of your longer telephoto lenses, of course, are not going to fit in here. So you can fit a body here. What I've been doing is I put a body with a lens on it facing down so I can just pick up the body and I can put two lenses, I can squeeze two lenses in on each on the side. You also have these little pockets on the side right here with, uh, where you can connect stuff into it. I don't know what you would put here, but you are able to put a few things and you have the pocket on each side. Um, then you have all this room up here. Um, <clears throat> far as this is where you can put SD cards. There's like little pouches and stuff like that in there so that you could actually fit, you know, your SD cards into it. And, you know, they just added a few things. They even have some pins. So actually, if you wanted to put your pins up in the front, they have a place to put pins which is really nice. Uh, and then right here is usually where the raincoat is kept. Let me just throw it in there. I've actually connected the raincoat over here. We were using it the other day and I just threw it in there. But the raincoat actually fits right here. So we can actually just throw the raincoat in here. And that's where your raincoat's at. And then you have this front pocket where you can throw more stuff. Uh, I'd probably throw, you know, maybe my my lav mic or something like that and they're small things and then you have the back of the bag and you've got a little bit of pockets here and then you have some stuff to attach stuff on the side and you have little tiny pockets there as well so again this bag is is not going to be for going out and doing a big huge professional shoot but it is great this is, again this is what I carry every day pretty much so I, when I leave the house you know, I grab my bag, I got a body, a couple lenses in it if I need it. You know, a good photographer, in my opinion, never leaves home without his camera. I try not to, at least, because um, you never know what's going to pop up or what you want to take a picture of. Um, but if it does, you, you know, you can do it. So uh, <clears throat> you got a handle strap here, and then you have the padded neck strap, shoulder strap. And this thing is so comfortable. Um, and again, I just, I love the look of this, of this bag. It just... It just looks really nice. It goes great as um, far as just carrying it around public and stuff. I feel like a lot of camera bags are ugly looking and kind of bulky, and they just kind of stick out. And if you want something that's just going to blend in and have your camera with you, this is just a fantastic bag to have. Um, as well, guys, just to let you know, anything that you order from Think Tank, um, there's going to be a link down below in my description bar. Uh, if you use that link, um, you will actually get a free gift if you spend $50 or more. So say you bought that you decided you wanted to get this bag because it's a fantastic bag. Um, you click on the link down below. Um, I have some kind of program set up through Think Tank so that when you, so when you click on that link, it will take you to Think Tank Photo. You order what you want, and you'll get an, you'll get an extra little gift. Um, so they've worked out a deal with me. They're giving out a free gift if you spend $50 or more. So anyways, which is pretty cool. Um, so check out that link down below. Uh, as well. Um, thank you guys for stopping in and uh, check us out on Facebook and Twitter at David D Images as well. Think, uh, check Think Tank Photo out on Twitter at Think Tank Photo and I believe on Facebook at Think Tank Photo. Um, it, some people upload some pretty cool pictures using their bags and stuff like that. So anyways, uh, they make great bags. I definitely, uh, definitely really like their, their stuff. So you guys have a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys next time. The real deal. What you know about it? Man, I gotta be the real deal. Hey, get a load of this guy. No, no, I'm just the real deal. And I don't know if you knew about it. A lie, a lie, a lie, a lie, a lie. I'm kinda like the real deal. Uh, what you
you know about it. Man, I gotta be.